Member Rivero, if you would please test your audio and visual, that would be great. Perfect, thank you. Uh, I think it was a matter of, well, it, it, I've never had to put in the, uh, the ID code. Uh, it goes immediately into the request to uh, type in my email. Uh, so anyway, oh, cool. hopefully yeah. people We'll see that step. Yes, I have. Um, I don't know if we want to reach out to the members of the board, um, although they have a few of the other members as they're just to make sure that they it is in the instructions to that the uh, the ID um, to put that in. But um, I will send maybe if you I, I can send something out to them right now just to confirm that they all know to do that. Okay. Yeah, if you want to, that'd be good. I mean, they they have it already, but. Okay. Good morning, Brad. If you would test your audio and visual, please. Good morning. Good morning. Love the background. Thank you.
the floor name member Lucrista, if you would please go ahead and check your audio and visual. Thank you. Good morning, Member Rumble. If you would go ahead and test your audio and visual, please. Same. I was going to give Todd and uh, Donna about a minute or so, and then. Uh... And Todd should be here. He RSVP for the meetings for my for the twelve o'clock meeting. So. Yeah. Okay. Good. Member Anderson, if you would please go ahead and test your audio visual, that would be great. Mm. 
Todd, if you want to give us give your uh, video camera and your audio a try, that would be wonderful. Wonderful. There we go. Okay. All right. Nice to see you, Todd. Okay. And I don't know where Donna is. Hopefully uh, she joins us, but it's already uh, 11.06. Um, I don't know if we should wait any longer. I did not hear from her for our 12 noon meeting. So I, yeah. I would recommend we just move forward. Yeah. Okay, sounds great. All right, so I'll go ahead and call the meeting to order and I have a webinar disclosure statement. Um, so uh, welcome to the uh, May 27th uh, Santa Rosa Tourism Business Improvement Area Advisory Board meeting. Today's meeting in, will be held in a virtual setting using the Zoom webinar. Committee members and staff are participating from a remote location and or practicing appropriate social distancing. Members of the public may view and listen to the meeting as noted on the city's website and as noted on, on the agenda. Members of the public wishing to speak during item three, public comment, or during our public hearing items will be able to do so by utilizing the raise hand feature uh, or by pressing star nine on their phone. They then will be given the ability to address the committee. All right. All right, um, now I'm gonna go ahead and do roll call. Madam Recording Secretary, will you please take roll? Yes, uh, Todd Anderson. Here. Vern LaCrista. Here. Uh, let the record reflect, Donna Renteria is not currently present. Peter Rumble. Here. Rafael Rivero. Here. And Brad Culkin. Here. Thank you. All right, thank you. And now we, may, we move on to uh, public comments. So this is a time when any uh, person uh, may address matters not listed on this agenda. Right now, um, we do have members of the public present. So there are no hands raised, nor did we receive any uh, voicemails or emails for this meeting. All right, thank you. Uh, and uh, moving on, we now get the opportunity to uh, proof uh, minutes from the prior meeting held uh, in March. And hopefully everybody had a chance to review those minutes. And at this moment, if we don't have any uh, um, comments or uh, edits to the minutes, I'd like to hear a motion to approve the minutes from our last meeting is held in March. I'll make a motion to approve the meeting from last March. Okay, second. somebody want a second? Second. second. All right. So member Lacusta have a second. Uh, all those in favor of approving March meeting minutes, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. So uh, meeting, meeting minutes approved. Thank you. All right, so moving on to item four, uh, we have a couple of uh, items listed under event support and started with item 4.1. It's actually the cancellation of Country Summer Music Festival, uh, which was going to be held on June 18th through the 20th of this year. And um, um, do we have any uh, discussion regarding that? Yeah, just a short item, and it's actually regarding item 4.1 and 4.2. At our last meeting, we held this over till this meeting, uh, not knowing budget was going to happen. This is just a notice that it's canceled, so there's no official application to review. I don't think the group needs to take any action because without an event and no there's no application for funding. Um, this is more, I think, it's just as an FYI to everyone that those applications are no longer valid without the yeah. events. They are looking at uh, 2022 for an event, but have not indicated any, and they would be responsible for supplying new applications for the 2022 event. So chair, I don't know, I don't think there's any action we have to take because we never took action on this. In the last meetings we had postponed any taking any action. That is correct, yeah. Okay, well, I definitely want to see uh, 
oh, you know, I look forward to seeing their application next year. And um, unfortunately, due to yeah, you know, COVID reasons and restrictions and and tears and and so on, um, we will not be able to uh, see these events this year. However, I am looking forward to seeing them back uh, next year. So if there are no uh, actions to be taken, uh, we'll consider the matter uh, resolved and we'll go ahead and move on to item point, 4.3, which is, oh, go ahead. I'm so sorry, um, just as a matter of form, we need to request public comment. Oh, correct, yeah. Uh, any public comments uh, related to the cancellation of these two events? We do not have any hands raised at this time. Right, thank you, all right. So moving on to item 4.3, we have the Sonoma County LGBTQI prize celebration application, uh, event support application. And hopefully everybody had had a chance to review. Um, I believe they're asking a total amount of 7,500. Do we have any funds available? Yes. Yes. Right now for the whole year, we have about, we're looking at approximately 20,000, although unfortunately we did not get our check on May 20th. So I don't know. I'm still working with the city to find out what our amount is. Um, so we're still a little bit delayed in that, but we do have funds for the 2021 calendar year. I certainly welcome conversation around this one, but I'm also very happy to go ahead and move that we approve for the full amount. Uh, but, you know, at your pleasure. Or maybe I'll move and see if I can get a second and then we can discuss that. I think it's a great event. I think it's something that is worthwhile supporting. Um, they bring a lot of good to community, uh, which we obviously want. and. I think as much as we can give them, I think they deserve the full support. So is that a second? I'll second that, yes. <laughs> My thought, I was kind of thinking, you know, I think it's a great event, I think we should support it, but I was oh. thinking like slightly less than the full amount just based on it's only May, well, almost, and we only have 20,000 for the rest of the year and I think more and more events. I, I think I, I think more events might pop up for the remainder of the year as time goes, but that's just my thoughts. Yeah, and then uh, from our side, I I I know we talked to the um, the uh, ASO earlier this week, and uh, I, in, in terms of matching the uh, our our side. Um, <laughs> I was wondering if we could maybe just drop it down a little bit. Um, but we, I, I'm very happy to, to support the effort. And I, you guys be all right with doing like maybe four or something? Can we do uh, five <laughs> instead? I think five is a good number. Again, I agree. I think there may be stuff coming up. I'm not sure how much, how much more is going to come in the fall. I think it's, I hear you, but um, I think those were planning things. I've already, I think more looking groups, we were looking more now to next year. Yeah, I think our major events have, have canceled. <laughs> yeah, but, exactly. That's why I don't know. But, 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 you know, I, I want to see this event get as much funding as we can, we can mm -hmm. do. If there are votes for five and not votes for 775, then okay. So I guess I would have to uh, uh, amend my motion and then see if Vern will uh, will second again the uh, support of 5,000. I'll second that, yes. And uh, Member Rivera, if you just want to take a, a, an overall vote, please. Sorry, what was that? Um, now that you have the motion, if you wanted to call for public comment. 
Correct. Um, yeah, so uh, any public comments related to this item? Yeah, um, sure. there, there are. Um, I'm going to, um, uh, Mr. Ken Mora, I'm going to um, allow you to speak if you would hold just one moment while I um, put the timer up on the screen. That would be wonderful. Apologize, I'm having, there we go. Um, always, technology is always fun. Um, are you able to uh, see the screen? If you would please confirm, that would be wonderful. Uh, yes, I can see the screen. Great, please proceed. It's weird, you guys don't get to see me, but that's okay. I just wanted to thank you guys for any support that we could get this year. Um, I don't know if you looked at the schedule, but we've, we've moved things around a lot to make micro events around the whole county. Um, but we do plan and I've already submitted applications for an event in October to be on the square. Uh, so you will see me back later in the year uh, for our wine festival, as well as an out festival, uh, another LGBTQ festival that will be on the square. Uh, hopefully that will we'll be out of these tiers and be able to have a little bit more activity in larger groups. Um, all of our events this year are planned around the micro uh, events, uh, except for the concert at the end of the month, which is the 26th. That is a pod setup that's been approved by the county at the fairgrounds. Uh, if the tiers go away, we do <clears throat> anticipate increasing our marketing to get more people there. And that particular event, we're advertising throughout the entire Bay Area because we've got some headliners coming in that haven't performed in the Bay Area for over two and a half years. Um, and they will not be performing in the Bay Area for another at least year, at least to our contract with them. We won't see them in, our, in the Bay Area for a year. So we're hopefully going to have a lot more hotel usage this time around. I already know that I've booked 12 rooms for entertainment that's coming in. And we've got another uh, eight rooms going to get booked at the AC Hotel for the first weekend in June as well. So. I know that's small numbers right now, but we are bringing in people from outside the area and marketing. Um, but we just wanted to at least say thank you for all your support. Whatever you guys can do to help us out this year would be great. And that's all I've got. Thank you so much. Excellent, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And uh, again, we're very excited to um, have you return and I know you guys have been doing uh, tons of work uh, throughout the city to uh, commemorate the special celebration. So yeah, so um, I'm good with the motion. So um, all is in favor to approve the $5,000 for event support. I'm, I'm assuming there's no additional public comment. Oh. Uh, there, there are no hands raised at this time. Thank you. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, so... Um, uh, let's uh, go ahead and put a motion on the floor. So uh, uh, all those in favor to approve $5,000 to support the uh, event application for LG, uh, Sonoma County Pride, say aye. 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 Okay, any opposed? All right, so motion approved. Thank you. And uh, let's see, I think that about... Uh, That will adjourn our meeting. All right. <laughs> well, thanks. Thanks. Thanks thank you. Good to thanks see you all. Thanks, everybody. All right. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you.